Hey everyone, Rodev here, and welcome to my beginner scripting series for 2022, where today we're going to be starting off by learning about properties, so let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing in Workspace is clicking this plus icon and in, in, uh, inserting the most basic object. It's called a part, and basically all of these things here you can see are called objects, and this is one of the most basic ones. It's called a part, and it's basically the building block of everything you see in games. And uh, today we're going to be looking at the properties. So these are all windows you can see placed around. And to open them, you can go to view at the top. You're likely on the home tab right now. But if you go to view, you can turn on the explorer and properties. Along with that, make sure you have the output on. The command bar is not, op uh, is not important right now, so I'll disable it. But make sure you have these three essential uh, windows open. And uh, from there, we can get started. So uh, there are three different types of scripts. If I type script, you can see them all, but we're only, when you foc we're only going to be focusing on the server script for now. And make sure you insert that inside uh, server script service right here. The other scripts uh, will be talked about in later videos. Right now, we can name our script. So click on the script, go to properties, and change the name property. For this property, I'm going to be calling it beginner script. And from there, our script's name is also changed in the explorer, and we can get started. So I'm just going to zoom in real quick by using control and my scroll wheel. On Mac you can also use command. But let's get right into it. So this part right here, um, it's called part and it's currently parented to the workspace. If you don't get, the, if you don't get what that means, allow me to explain. So this uh, right here is the game. So everything you can see here, uh, I'm just going to make the properties a bit smaller for now. Everything you see here is the game, okay, it's all under the game and basically this right here is the workspace and this is a service uh, all of these here you can see are services and you can all uh, they can all be accessed from within a script so say I wanted to um, you know change the properties of this part for example let's choose a property let's go over to the part real quick and let's choose a property I'm gonna be choosing the transparency property so if I turn it up the part becomes more and more transparent until I set it to 1 if it's zero, it's fully opaque. If it's one, it's fully transparent. So let's go ahead and mess around with this property inside the script. So um, inside the script right here, first we're gonna have to reference the part. So for that, as I said earlier, let's type game, and then uh, followed by game, we're gonna add a dot. This basically tells the script that we're looking for something inside game now. For that, let's go to the next service. It's gonna be workspace. Remember, all of this is inside the game. And if you don't understand game.workspace yet, this will clear it up. So if I close workspace real quick, or minimize it just like this, you can see all of these disappear. These are all parented to the workspace. Basically, they're all children of the workspace. That's how Roblox kind of works. These are children, this is the parent, and that's basically a simple way to explain how it works. Um, now, if I hit dot again, I can now talk about some things that are inside the uh, workspace to the script. So for example, if I want to talk about the part, I can find part in the autocomplete, and I can double click it, it'll autocomplete. And now we've referenced this part right here. Now another dot, and we can either say uh, we can either tell the script to look at something inside the part, or we can actually edit some properties of the part. So with this dot right here, I'm gonna edit some properties. So all these blue uh, bricks you see here are properties. Don't worry about anything else right now. We're focusing on the properties. So right now we're gonna focus on the transparency property right here. As you can see, it says determines how much of a part can be seen through, inverse of a part opacity. We're going to double click it, or we can type the full thing. And now we've uh, specified to the script that we're editing the part's transparency. From there, if I go ahead and hit equal, um, the spaces don't matter, but they are, you know, they look better in the script. It's good practice. If I hit equal, I can now specify a transparency. If I set it to one, I have now, uh, there's no more errors because the script, uh, you know, it knows what's going on. And uh, yeah, basically we've cleared up for the script. So that's what scripting really is, guys. It's just changing properties at different times using scripts and lines of code. Um, uh, we've talked about referencing, we've talked about games and services. So now let's talk about how properties can be changed. Um, either I can go to the part and I can change it around, but obviously we can't do that mid-game. Um, we need to use a script. So as you see, as you can see, we have coded this right here. And I'm gonna hit play, and we'll see what happens. So if I go back to the base plate, base plate by clicking here, I can hit play to run the code. I spawn in, and the part is nowhere to be seen. But basically, if I go to workspace and part, it's right there. But the transparency property is one. However, I obviously can bring it back down since we're inside Studio right now. But you can't do that in a normal game. 
So as you can see, we've set the transparency to 1. Uh, we can also do 0 0.5. If I play the game, I'll be able to see the part. And as you can see, it's uh, the transparency is set to 0 0.5. And there you go, and there you go, guys. Uh, you have written your first line of code. If you haven't written it yet, go ahead and write it. And yeah, you will have written your first line of code. So from there, um, we're just gonna quickly talk about some other properties. For example, the name property. It can also be set, but obviously for name, I'm um, not obviously actually. You guys are beginners, and I'm gonna make sure I keep that in mind. So uh, when you're trying to set a text value, it's called a string, and basically you cannot just uh, you know type it. So say I wanted to name it Rodev. Um, you know, it's underlined red because uh, as you can see the error says unknown global row dev That basically means the script is telling us it doesn't know what row dev is and real quick if I just uh, Actually, we'll do that in a second But basically if I want to set the name to row dev I have to put it inside speech marks This will now make it a string as you can see that uh, the color has changed It may be pink for you But for me, it's green because I've edited my script a little bit or my script editor a little bit But for you guys the color is not important at all. It's just showing different data data types So this is another data type by the way the first one is a number um you can call it an integer this one is a string so uh, let's just uh, do it real quick number is an integer and this one um text is a string and there we go if i hit play the uh, the name property will be changed of the part to uh well obviously we can't see anything here but if we go to workspace it's been changed to rodev and basically uh we can do that for more things but say I wanted to change the material um, now as you can see it's actually different that's because it's an enum we're gonna talk about that now so instead of uh, going in speech marks and let's just choose a material let's choose uh, let's choose fabric so instead of uh, going like this and typing fabric this is actually really bad practice what we're actually gonna be doing even though it does work is using an enum this is really good practice you want to type enum just like this it should change color e n u m hit dot and then type material and then hit dot again and then we can type fabric this basically uh we're going to go to enums enums are basically lists of different uh you know property options so this time we're going to go to the material one by specifying with a dot that we're finding one so it's going to be material and then another dot we're going to be choosing from that list so if i hit dot i can see actually a lot more i can use neon for example if i hit play the, ma uh, the material will be changed to neon there we go so yeah those are also uh, there they're called enums and yeah it's just another data type so in this video guys you've learned about properties you've learned what scripting really is you've learned that there are different types of script this is a server script and it runs when the game starts you've also learned about the whole game thing uh, you learned you've learned how to reference because of that and you've learned what uh, services are all these are services by the way if I didn't explain it clearly um, you've also learned how properties uh, can be changed by a script and you've learned about three data types today So um, I think that is enough learning for today. You can go, out, go you can go ahead and mess around and you can also type more lines so game dot workspace dot part Dot name equals um, Make sure we switch to using the uh, string data type and then we can uh, change that to subscribe Just like that and if I hit play as you can see, the part's name is now subscribe, and the material is neon. But yeah guys, other than that, that's all we have for the first video of this series. Hopefully you learned a little bit about scripting today and referencing and all of that. But make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe if this video did teach you a little bit about scripting. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.